Hey everybody, welcome to the Donichi Studio vidcast. Since June of last year, Apple has expressed an interest in developing a standard for linking your iPhone to your car's built-in touchscreen display. The working title was known as iOS in the car, and very few details were given besides a tentative list of auto manufacturing partners and a few rough mock-ups. Well, this morning, Apple officially announced the standard known as Apple CarPlay, and it promises to provide an incredible experience using your iPhone with your car. This new standard will essentially make your iPhone the brains behind your touchscreen display. A modified interface of certain iOS apps will allow drivers to directly access maps, music, messages, and phone. Also, several third-party app developers have signed on to provide supporting apps for Apple CarPlay. An upcoming iOS 7 update will make all existing Lightning-compatible iPhones CarPlay ready. This includes the iPhone 5, 5S, and 5C. Before the end of 2014, six automakers will release vehicles compatible with the CarPlay system. Also, an additional 12 partners have committed to releasing CarPlay-compatible vehicles sometime in the future. The new standard is built around Siri voice commands and prompts to provide an eyes-free experience. Another way Apple intends to keep your eyes on the road is by parsing the address data in your calendars, text messages, and emails to predict your navigation destinations. It's important to understand that this new standard won't simply push a copy of your iPhone screen onto your vehicle display. The National Traffic Highway Safety Administration has several strict guidelines for building an interface that's visible to a driver inside a vehicle. And some of the rules involve the size of the buttons in the display, how many levels deep you have to travel inside a menu, and the amount of time it takes to perform a certain function. For this reason, I'm sure there are several popular iPhone apps out there that, in order to become CarPlay compliant, may have to greatly simplify their interface. I think it's a great idea for Apple to establish the standard for all vehicle manufacturers to follow. That way, theoretically, any incremental update in iOS won't break compatibility with a vehicle's infotainment unit. Also, if you have multiple drivers sharing a vehicle, things like map bookmarks will change dynamically. So what do you think about this new technology? Do you think that CarPlay or lack thereof will influence your next purchase decision? Or do you think that all automakers have been duped by Apple and this is just their next move in their plan for total world domination? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Well, that's it for this episode. If you like this video, please click the like button. Also, if you want to see more like this, please click the subscribe button. You'd really help me out. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.